Honeybees are a superorganism. Fissioning, also known as swarming, is the process by which colonies reproduce. Swarming typically happens in the spring, when nectar, the raw material from which new comb is made, and pollen, the raw material from which baby bees are made, are both plentiful. The fascinating process that a bivouacking colony uses to choose a new home has been well documented in Tom Seeley's book, Honey Bee Democracy. But after hearing Greg Wolgamuth's Wolgamuth. But after hearing beekeeper Greg Wolgamuth's enthusiastic description of the events culminating in a swarm at the North Carolina Zoo's observation hive, we had to see it for ourselves. With help from David Harnden, we were able to record what happened before, during, and after our observation hive swarmed. Preparations for swarming began in the last week of March with construction of queen cups on the bottom edge of the brood nest. As the population doubled and then doubled again, eggs were laid in the queen cups. The first of these now queen cells were sealed on the morning of April 13th. We didn't know it then, but April 13th was the last day the queen would lay eggs prior to swarming. After the queen cells had been capped for about a week, the queen began to pipe and the virgins began to quack back. Let's look at the spectral analysis of that. Since the virgins were quacking and about to hatch, we knew swarming was imminent. And we missed it. And then, a miracle happened. The swarm returned to the observation hive half an hour after it left. This is the damnedest hive. We missed the original swarming, but now they are returning. Excuse me. We think because excuse me, the queen didn't go the first time, and we did see the a queen in the hive after they swarmed. The next day, the workers began to bite and chase the queen. Suddenly, the temperature began to rise in the high. Restlessness gave way to buzz running. Then suddenly it seemed that every bee was rushing about and heading for the entrance. At the hive entrance, as bees poured out, there was one bee trying to get back in. The queen tried repeatedly to enter the hive, but was pushed back by the issuing swarm. She's back. Corey, she's back. She's back. 
She is back. The next morning, corpses of assassinated virgins were being pulled from their queen cells. That's definitely a queen. Look at that long back leg. Mm -hmm. Can we see what's going up above? Dear. Up above, a queen was in the process of chewing holes in queen cells in preparation for stinging her rivals to death. By the time the morning was over, there was only one queen and the cycle started anew. <laughs>